Hi, it's my time to shine. I will be doing the Capricorn reading. From May the 20th to the 25th. As you came out, stay there. This reading may resonate for some. And it may not resonate for everybody. I'm doing Capricorns that got moon, sun, rising, Jupiter in their chart. Which is placements of the planets. I hope everybody's staying safe and healthy. I wasn't doing readings for a while because I got a couple of people. Because I get a lot of Capricorns such as myself. That, that goes to my um, YouTube and checks their readings. But I've been dealing with a death of my mother. And there's other things that I'm trying to organize. And it's just a lot going on right now. Like, honestly, period. And the way things look as far as, like, if, you were, if you're dealing with astrology, you'll understand what I mean. Well, since a lot of people wouldn't understand it, I'm not even going to explain it. It's just everything that you need to do, which is the earth sign, like people with part parts like my Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorns, you should really do after the 25th of this month. It'll bring you some more better results. Anything prior to that is going to be all drama in some type of form. Um, me personally, I had to like tell two people off within the last 18 hours. Like, I'm just not to be fucked with right now, and people not getting it. No matter if you're a kid, adult, whatever, just, I'm not to be fucked with right now. And, um, a couple people just got the, the, the terrible side of me. That's just what it is. Like, I just don't feel like playing. I don't feel like arguing. I don't feel like going through nothing. I just, I don't feel like doing none of that stupid shit. Like, real rap, like. I had to deal with three deaths in the last 18 months. I'm done with dealing with any extra shit in my path at this time. So the card that came out while I'm shuffling is the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups could represent Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Or you could have this in your chart. As far as me is concerned with the way this is rolling is this could be a celebration, a union, or something to get together. Or it could be a third party situation. For me as a Capricorn, this is some type of celebration and my emotions all in check. And I'm also dealing with somebody that's a Scorpio. So this card can resonate in different ways for different signs. That's a Cap Capricorn. And I just want y'all to know that. So that card came out while I shuffle. So basically, I'm going to use this as the overall energy of the reading. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do some um, oracle cards. I'm not opening none of my new decks because I don't really feel like doing it. And I'm going to give her a basic read. I'm going to do a love oracle for all my Capricorns. Sun, Rise, and Moon, Venus, Jupiter. Um, and I'm going to also get some wisdom card from um, my Affirminator cards. Okay, so Universe, Spirit Guide, Holy Angels. Okay. Okay. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels. Please tell the Capricorns what they need to know for May the 20th, 2025th of May 2020. What do my Capricorns need to know? What do my Capricorns need to know? Hmm. What do my Capricorns what need to know? What do my Capricorns need to know? For 2020, the May the 20th. It's too many cards. Three more cards, universe. What do the Capricorns need to know? What do the Capricorns need to know? What do the Capricorns need to know? Mm. That's crazy how they came out. That's how I'm giving them. The first card in the reading is the Four of Swords. This is some type of rest retreat, some truth coming out in a situation. 
This is your past position or it could go vice versa. You got the fool. You going to take a chance in a situation. You got the nine of cups. This could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Somebody want to offer you some type of cup of emotion, but they coming in slow and they're a night. You got the nine of swords. Some anxiety, can't sleep. For me, this would be me thinking about, you know, the people that I lost recently. Two of cups. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces that want to come into some partnership, a friendship, a relationship. They want to come as two in the union with you. With me, I know who this is with a person that I'm talking to that want to come as one. Nine of Wands. This is somebody that's incarcerated that they want to make something happen, but basically they can. They only got their wand to make something happen with, but it's like they're in an institution or in some type of prison. With me, this would be my ex this could be talking about. Ace of Pentacles, the universe gave you a new beginning, a new gift of some type of abundance. It could be money. It could be a new beginning, a new house, a marriage. He giving you something, and this is from the universe. Then you got the Three of Swords. This is some heartbreak. This is lies. This is betrayal. This could also be a lot of pain. With me, this could also be I'm going through a lot of pain from, you know, a death that I'm going through. Because with this card, it could also mean death as well. That's what it could mean for me or also could indicate a third-party situation. Also, you got the sun, the happiest card of the deck, which is a good card. Basically, this card represents abundance in all types of forms, all types of ways. But clarify what that, that came out was the seven of cups. Perhaps my Capricorn's got some choices, but you don't know what choice to make. If you don't have choices in your future, you want to have some type of choices. Then come about the justice. Justice is weighing out balance in the situation. Maybe because you're going to get justice because of a choice that you're going to make or something in that form. The next one is the five of pentacles. Somebody feels though that you left them out in the cold or maybe somebody left you out in the cold. So I'm going to clarify real quick the five of pentacles and we want to see what's going on. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels, please clarify the five of pentacles. Wow. What comes up with that? If everybody go in different directions, nothing will be fixed. So maybe somebody from your past you know you move away from because you see it's like they're going in different directions he trying to stay up but she going in her own directions then you got the queen of cups that you want to offer somebody a cup of some situation cancer scorpio pisces you could be dealing with followed by the five of cups when you thinking about something that you lost this could have been a loss of a person a loss of an old relationship but maybe you're not watching and seeing everything that's standing behind you you're just looking at everything you lost that could be the case. I'm going to clarify this three of swords. Universe, spirit, guides, holy angels, please clarify the three of swords for my Capricorns. Why is this three of swords here? Why is this three of swords here? What do my Capricorns need to know? Why is this three of swords here? Why is this three of swords here? You got the Hermit, but you also got the Ace of Swords reverse, and then you got the Queen of Wands reverse. Like you're not making something happen in a situation. You gotta, you gotta go within. So you might be hurt from something in the past. I'm gonna clarify. Okay. You got the Wheel of Fortune. You got good luck turning in your favor. So whatever this case may be, I'm gonna clarify this Nine of Wands. Universe, Spirit Guide. Holy angel, please clarify the nine of wands. Why is the nine of wands here for my Capricorns? Somebody, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Knight of Pentacles want to offer you something, something minor, and it's a slow moving night. But look what comes out with it. Wow. You got the four of cups reversed. Everything is spilled out. Your emotions is all around, but you don't see the universe trying to hand you something in this situation. You got to make a choice probably within the lover, maybe within two lovers. Something is hidden yet to be revealed, some type of deceit. But you move past that with the nine eight of cups to the mountaintop and you're not looking back. 
in that situation. So whatever's going on, you moving forward from it. You definitely moving forward from it. I'm going to clarify the five of cups. Universe, spirit, guide, holy angels, please clarify the five of cups. Why is the five of cups here? Three of wands. You waiting for something to make something happen. But come with that. You got the tower. Something was built on faulty foundation that came coming tumbling down. Then you got the three of pentacles. You want to build something with somebody. I'm going to clarify that tower. Universe, spirit guides. Since you didn't fall. That was the world. Universe, spirit guides, holy angels. Please clarify the tower. Why is the tower here for my Capricorns? What do my Capricorns need to know? You got the Five of Wands reverse. Please clarify the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is usually when people come and at you. Too many cards, but I'm going to take them. You got the Knight of Swords that's coming through with the bull. Cutting through the bullshit. The high priest is something that's hitting. You waiting for your ships to come in. And then you got the devil reverse. Saying these addictions can be overcome. So something's going on. Maybe you might have somebody in the third party. I'm going to clarify this nine of swords real fast. To see why this anxiety. Universe, spirit, God, holy angels. Please clarify the nine. You got the imprints, which is Capricorn energy. Pretty, bountiful, bountiful, got everything she want. Please clarify. Okay, they all came out. Wow. Look at all these cards. You only got one reverse. You got, well, two. You got the Ten of Cups. Your emotions all spilled out. This is spending money on things that you don't suppose to. Then you got the Hierophant. That represents ours. But you get back. All your emotions come back. Every in order. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Maybe a Taurus is the reason you were spending money. It was a lot. It's a lot of confusion about this situation. You got the star. Which you got your wishes and everything coming true that you wanted. You got victory out of this situation. And you cut straight through the bullshit. So with that, I'm going to leave that and I'm going to get some cards from the universe to see what they may have to say. Universe, fair guy, holy angels, please clarify what you need to tell these Capricorns for 2020. What do they need to know? Destiny, only card that came out. Something is destiny that's going on. It's meant to be what it is. Whoop. Universe, fair guy, holy angels. Okay. It says clear your space. Your space name need to be clearing, Capricorn. Get rid of clutter, clear the energy around you, and use Fu Shun. I do clear my space so you can think. Because this is Virgo energy. To go within, you gotta have a clear space. It's saying clear your space. Maybe the universe wanna talk to you. I'm gonna take a lover's card and see what this lover's going got going on. Universe, fair guide, holy angels. Okay, one call. It says, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So something to shoot in is telling you just to enjoy it while you can. So what I see for my Capricorns basically in a nutshell is you move forward from something. You took a chance to union in a new relationship or partnership or friendship with something, somebody else. Even though you had a lot of heartbreak in the past. You move through that situation, and basically you cut through a lot of bullshit to get here. But it was some addictions going on in this situation. Maybe you was addicted to the same person, and you had to get out of the situation. But as I see is you cutting through the bullshit because you're going to get victory over this whole situation. Is what I'm seeing. So with that being said, I'm going to do one card over the whole reading and see. Wow, it came right out. The right way, judgment. You're going to get judgment over all this that's going on. And this is a good card when it comes out right. So this is for my Capricorns from May the 20th to the 25th. 
Peace, light, and blessings.